Hey guys, this is Sandra Nicole Hill. I am back from a very long break and I am making this video just to say hi and uh, just to keep you guys, you know, abreast of the things that are going on in my life. So first and foremost, do you guys like my hair? Because I do. It's so cute, isn't it? I just got it done today. Shout out to Mia's Maine. Girl, you hooked me up. I mean, so uh, the story with my hair is... I don't know if you guys have noticed i mean it, it definitely is shorter but now my hair is healthy i have been struggling with my hair for years actually because i really do want to maintain some kind of length with my hair but that has been a struggle i have not been able to do that effectively because i'm not a professional when it comes to hair care i know some things but you know i, I don't really know how to trim ends so I have been noticing that every year when I do press out my hair that it's not as long as I would think that it should be or that I would like it to be. It's not growing like it should be growing. You know, I know my hair and I'm not saying that it grows the fastest, but I do know that I'm supposed to have, you know, I was supposed to have a lot more length than I did have as evidenced by when I would look at previous pictures when I would press it out year after year after year, I would press it out and it'd be longer and thicker in some places. But as far as length, it would always stay in the, the same length. I, I, I just wasn't able to get past a certain length. So I got to thinking, I probably need to trim my ends because I've been trimming, you know, like dusting my ends. But, you know, I haven't really given my hair the, the trim that it really needs. And it turns out that it, that has been the reason why my hair has not been um, getting past a certain length. It's because I desperately need a trim. So um, I decided to seek out a professional. And after months and months and months of research, I have found a professional. Actually, I found two. Um, there is another beautician. Her name is Barbara, and I really wanted to um, go to her, but her calendar is booked for the month of May, and um, so I had to, you know, do what I had to do to find someone who could get your girl in and, you know, hook me up. So I did. I found Mia. Mia has been a gym. I just came from the salon, actually, so I still have that salon finish, but it's so healthy. I absolutely love the way my hair looks. I mean, it's Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I've been afraid to press it out, like really, really press it out. It has not been this straight since I've had a relaxer. And I've been afraid to just really, really press it out because, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of heat damage. Um, but, you know, I just roll the dice. I'm like, you only live once. The hair will, you know, get healthy. I am pretty hair conscious when it comes to <laughs> the health of my hair. So, you know, um, you know, Mia seemed to know what she was doing, so uh, she gave me this lovely, 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 oh so beautiful silk press, and I cannot thank you enough, Mia. Thank you, girl. So, that is the story with my hair. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I'm so excited. I'm bouncing around in my chair. I cannot go anywhere. I've been to a few places since I left the salon, and everywhere I go, people are like, oh my God, your hair is beautiful. I'm like, thank you, you know. <laughs> enough of my goofiness but uh yeah i'm just so excited about the state of my hair it's so cute so yeah that's the story with my hair your girl had to get your hair i had to get my hair you know taken care of so on to announcements okay so i will be graduating from my local community college this saturday um i am i excited I'm getting there for some reason. I just have, I, okay, okay, I know the reasons. I guess I, it was not my idea to go back to school, y'all. It was not my idea to go back to school. I, you know, God gave me this vision time after time after time after time in a dream to go back to school. Um, So I, you know, took a leap of faith to go back to school because I got out of nursing school in 2015, uh, right before my husband and I got married. And so I was just done with school. I was, you know, through with it. I mean, I pretty much, you know, developed the attitude that school is not for me. Um, they rip you off anyway. And, you know, it's the, the degree is not really worth the piece of paper it's printed on. And a lot of people still feel that way. And I get it, you know. 
if it wasn't for God telling me to take my butt back to school, I would probably still feel that way. I have no idea where he's taking me on this journey, but I do know that his instructions were for me to get my butt back in school, which is what I did. All that to say, you know, it was not my idea to go back to school. My idea was to, you know, blog full time. Um, it's just become an independent like health coach and help people, you know, with the same stuff that I struggle with. Um, which is, you know, feminine, female issues, fibroids, acne, hormonal issues, things of that nature. But things have been very, very interesting lately, but I'll get to that. So I wanted to say going to school was not my idea. I did not want to go to school. So, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to graduate from my community college. And um, I have been looking for several positions. And I have, every everywhere I look, everyone wants a nutrition specialist who has either a bachelor's degree or higher bachelor's or master's with so bachelor's is normally the requirement so if you have an associate's degree typically you can work you know at a school in the school cafeteria uh doing something like that but you know who I mean, no offense to anyone who does that you know, but if you graduate, you put all this time, this effort, this energy into graduating from college, community college, bachelor's, uh, master's, whatever, you know, you just, your standards just raise up a bit more, you know. And again, please don't take offense to this. Anyone who's listening to this, who's doing it, I'm just telling my story. So, you know, I had, I wasn't able to find anything and I guess I got a little discouraged because I'm like, you know, really, really, I didn't, I didn't want to go back to school in the first place, but all right. So anyway, you know, the, uh, I'm getting ready to graduate this coming Saturday. By the time I put this video out, no, I put the video out before I graduate. So I'm getting ready to graduate this coming Saturday. And, you know, people, whenever I tell people, my family, uh, they're excited for me. And they're like, you know, yeah, you're excited. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And so my husband finally had to kind of, you know, talk to me like, are you really not excited about this? You know, I mean, this counts. This degree counts. Even though you haven't been able to find anything as of yet, that doesn't mean that you, it, you're you going to stay that way. You never know what God is going to do for you. You never know what, you know, he, what opportunity he's going to bless you with. I mean, you did say that he told you to go to school in the first place, right? So why do you think he would bring you this far just to desert you? And I'm like... You know what you got a point you got a point so you know let me perk up and plus there's the added thing of you know me being older i'm an adult now uh maybe you know years ago when i was in college for the first time i probably would have felt differently about graduating but you know um i guess i i was just like not excited or you know i i didn't want to i didn't even want to like walk i didn't want to participate in the graduation at first um because you know like i said i'm an adult and i'm just like uh you know i should have been did this but you know i had to shake those demons off they were trying to take away my joy and steal away this accomplishment because it is an it's an accomplishment you know so so uh yeah there's that there's school so i got that and i'm actually on break right now um i've been simultaneously working on my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree so i'm getting ready to graduate this saturday from my local community college for my associate's degree in nutrition and food science yay and i'm also working on my bachelor's degree at the same time right now um from my university, my local university, and that's in dietetics. So I'm gonna be a dietitian. Yay, I'm excited about that. Um, so um, I, I'm, I'm on a break from uh, my university. Um, I just finished the spring semester, so we get um, a month break because I am going to summer school, so I'm gonna be in summer school all summer long because your girl trying to graduate okay i'm not trying to stay in school forever i'm not trying to stay in school for years i'm trying to hurry up get out of school and do what i need to do because a few things have changed within the dietetic profession so the commission on dietetic registration has so wonderfully decided that for beginning january the 1st 2024 instead of needing a bachelor's degree 
in order to be able to take the registration exam to become a dietitian, you now need a master's degree to be able to um, to be eligible to take the registration exam to become a registered dietitian. So the Commission on Dietetics Registration now requires that you have a master's degree because they feel that with a master's degree, graduates will have more life experience when they enter the workforce or the work field um, because a lot of these, um, I guess, employers want their dietitians with a lot more work experience than someone with a bachelor's degree, which I think is complete and utter crap, but you know, that's just me and every other dietetic student that I've gone to school with who feels that way. Um, but the Commission on Dietetics Registration, they're, you know, they're backing up that claim by saying that most graduates end up going back to get their master's anyway. And that very well may be the case, but I don't think it's right that you force students to go and get their master's before they can sit for the um, dietitian exam. So that's just my two cents. What do I know? I'm only the person that's going through the entire process. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> so, as you can see, it gets me kind of riled up. So, you know, uh, with that being said, that's why I am going for my bachelor's. I just finished the spring semester, the spring semester at my local university. It was quite a doozy to finish both, uh, working on my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree at the same time. But I got through it by the grace of God, thank goodness. And um, I'm done, I'm done with my associate's degree. So now I'm finishing up my bachelor's degree. And this time next year, I will be graduating with my bachelor's degree. I am super excited about that. So this time around guys, this is just my second chance in school because um, you know, years ago when I was in college for the first time, I, I do wish that I had done things better. I do wish that I had done things differently, but, um, I was just going through a lot at the time. Um, I was just, you know, young, I was naive. I, uh, had been sheltered for a lot of my childhood. And so when I got out there, you know, in, in the world, I didn't really make the best decisions. You know how it is when you're young and just fresh out of the house. You, sometimes, you know, you just make mistakes. But this time around, you know, this is my second chance in school. So I have been taking full advantage of everything on campus. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. So this time around, I'm pretty much doing everything that, you know, I should have done back in the day when I went to college for the first time. So I have joined organizations. I'm involved in a lot of things on campus, which keeps me busy which is, you know, another reason why you guys have not seen me for months on here. I cannot apologize for that enough. I've just been really, really busy behind the scenes and doing things in my, you know, in my real life. So I've joined several organizations, including SAND, which is Student Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Um, Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is actually the largest it's the largest organization for nutrition and uh, dietitians, registered dietitians, nutrition, uh, nutrition and dietetic technicians, registered uh, nutritionists. So um, it's the biggest organ, it's the largest organization in the U.S. And so um, on campus, SAND is the Student Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So we have our club on campus. I am the volunteer coordinator. So it is my job to find volunteer opportunities for uh, our fellow club members to participate in either on campus or off campus just to get those you know, community service hours in, which always looks great on your resume. So, you know, it's, it's I was just elected um this spring so i will be stepping into office this upcoming fall semester so um as i said i will be busy so i'm trying to get certain things i'm trying to go ahead and just use this break that i have from school right now i'm trying to go ahead and use this time effectively and um you know i'm still trying to rest up because lord knows i need it i really need it um but i'm still you know trying to pretty much catch up on the things that I wasn't able to do that I kind of had to sort of neglect or because yeah just 
I'll just say it just neglect while I was in school because you know my schoolwork took up most of my time if it wasn't for studying I had six classes this semester this spring semester um so you know it, it was a lot and then um so anyway all that to say I am doing school differently and I'm trying to uh now that the spring semester is finished I'm trying to use this time my downtime to rest up but still you know put out content and you know devote time to my business actually my business has been doing you know fairly well considering that I haven't been marketing and you know pushing my products like I want to or like I've had the time to but yet and still um people have still been buying the butter um I still have about 10 body butters left and they are fresh and I still have about um about 10 detox powders left and they too are fresh so you guys can visit my website sandrosnaturalworld.com and purchase those items or if you want to read up a bit or uh, more about the products then I will link that in the description box as well okay so uh for this month though what I really, really, really am going to do is I was going to say what I'm really trying to do, but what I'm going to do and desperately need to do is a detox. I have been wanting to do a detox for about a year now because I, I used to do one every year until life got a bit more real for me. Now, I, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to do a detox last year and I do desperately want to do a detox this year. I'm going to do a detox right now, um, starting this coming Monday. Um, I know that's short notice. If you guys, um, what I'll do is I'll film the detox. I'll film what I'm doing, the, the, the products that I'm using, and I'll do teachings in the videos as well as to why I'm doing these things. And then, you know, I'll put that in the videos as well. And but I must do a detox you guys because I haven't done one in I didn't do one last year I, did, I don't know if I did one the year before I can't remember but you know I never go a year without detoxing so I'm long overdue so it, it's about that time especially now in the springtime is the best time to do a detox your body naturally wants to detox in the spring anyway that's why a lot of people get the snotting and mucusy and phlegmy and sneezy yes the pollen in the air as well but your body is naturally designed to detox in the spring and so i know that with you know the summer classes coming up there is no way I'm going to be able to detox. I tried to detox this this spring semester, but what the heck was I thinking? I was unable to do so because I would just, you know, I would feel horrible because I'm detoxing. I would feel so bad. I wouldn't be able to focus on my, my schoolwork, my assignments. It just was not the right time for me to detox. That's why I always tell people, if you're going to detox, then pick a time when you don't have a whole lot of activities. You don't have a whole lot of... Um, deadlines and and you know work and school work and things like that on your plate so so now right now is the opportune time for me to detox so I'm gonna spend these next you know couple of weeks next few weeks um while I got this break while it's spring detoxing and taking care of my body and uh you know getting myself right so um I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and film as much of it as I can and put it on here so you guys can see what I'm doing so uh, yeah I do have some very interesting videos already recorded I just haven't had the time to edit them one of them I don't think is the right time for me to put that one out but um, you know it is coming out you got you guys are gonna love it it's a teaser but um, you guys are gonna love that one and um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to putting it out there and seeing you guys responses on those videos um yeah and in addition to school i have started ministering at church again in the prophetic dance yay so in addition to school and work and <laughs> and other stuff that i got going on i also you know minister in the church because I, I i just want to be as useful to my fellow man as i possibly can be I just want God to, I want to try to utilize all of my gifts, all of my talents that God has put in me and discover the gifts and talents that God has put in me and utilize those for everyone from a fellow man and, you know, to help people. So, um, I, I really do, I'm not sure what direction 
I'm going to be going in at church what new direction but um, I'm feeling a shift so we'll just have to see you know where God is gonna lead me but as of right now I am very happy with being in the prophetic dance ministry it continues to stretch me it continues to grow me um, so it's 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 been a blessing being in the ministry again um, I you know I walked in when I was first in the ministry, I I knew that I hadn't reached the point where I wanted to reach. I never quite reached that level that I wanted to reach, because when I first got in the ministry, I was I was totally out of my element. I had never done anything like that before ever in my life ever. Now I I could dance out in the world all day long but you know dancing for the lord I, I had to learn how to do that and so um that it, it's been a very liberating just awesome journey in doing so and so now the second time i'm in the ministry i can see how much i've grown as a woman i can see how much i've grown in the ministry and um Things are just different, and um, I've also been stretching and deepening my relationship with the Lord. I, I, you know, there have been several prophets at church who have ministered to me and told me, you know, God is looking for you. Um, draw nearer to Him because you know your relationship with Him needs to be strengthened. It needs to be deepened. There are some places He wants to take you. So I'm like, cool, okay. Um, you know, I know that with school and everything that I have going on, I haven't really been, I, I, I have been praying, I have been fasting, I have been, you know, I'm making my business to fast every month, but still, you know, I can tell that there has, there is a difference in the frequency in which I do pray and which I do seek the Lord. So I have been strengthening and deepening my relationship with the Lord now while I have this break and will continue to do so uh, going forward because I, I don't want to lose that kind of spiritual ground, especially in this world. This time it is this this world is this world is insane. It's insane. And uh, God is raising up an army. I can see it. I can see that he, you know, while the world is getting crazier and crazier, God is raising up more and more and more of his army. And um, I can feel it within myself. Many of you who are watching can probably feel it within yourselves. And I encourage you guys to just answer the call and step into your step into your, your calling, step into your gifts, because now more than ever is the time to use them. You were born to do it. You were, if you're living during this time, then you were born to use your gifts to win souls to the kingdom during this time and so that is what i strive to do not only you know in my uh dietetic practice but um just my my christianity as well so um that's what's been going on with me too so guys uh this is all of my news this is all of my announcements that i have these are the things that have been going on in my life i just wanted to get on here and share these things with you so thank you so much for joining me today um i'm so glad to be back it is a blessing to be here so um if you guys have any questions about anything my hair just looks so nice i just can't stop touching it <laughs> okay this is neither here nor there so, uh, but if you guys have any questions about anything, then please, you know, comment. Let me know what type of videos you want me to put out, what type of videos you want to see from me, what type of uh, content that you guys want to see from me so that I can um, answer your questions and start to make that content for you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!